Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. Now the last two problems on ratio analysis I'm going to explain in this video. So far, 10 problems I have completed in the previous videos regarding the calculation and interpretation of ratios. So this is the last video on ratio analysis. Next video I'll make on common size statement analysis. Remember all the problems on ratio analysis are based on the formulas. So until and unless you are perfect, you are sure on the formulas, you cannot be able to understand these problems. So my suggestion, go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject accounting for management, select the videos of financial statement analysis, ratio analysis. Watch all the theory videos, be perfect on the formulas and interpretation, then only you can be able to understand these problems. And this chapter is very, very important for all postgraduate and professional students. Now, before starting the 11th and 12th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which are given in the link under my description. Always keep it with Now, take the screenshot of the solution of 11th and 12th, then I'll explain. Now, <clears throat> see the 11th problem. Following are the assets and liabilities of Krishna Limited as on 31st March 2019. The balance sheet is given liability site, equity capital 5 lakh, 5% 5 debentures 2 lakh, bank loan 1 lakh 50,000, creditors, bills payable, outstanding expenses. First of all, you must segregate the liabilities. The creditors, bills payable and outstanding expenses. These three are current liability. And bank loan and 5% debentures, these are long term debt. And equity capital, that will come under equity shareholders fund. Now asset side, land and building, machinery, cash in hand, cash at bank, debtors, bills receivable, stock, prepaid expense. So if we analyze these assets, first two assets are fixed assets, land and building, machinery are fixed and remaining all cash in hand, cash at bank, debtors, bills receivable, stock, prepaid are current assets. Now calculate current ratio, quick ratio, debt to equity ratio, proprietary ratio, assets turnover ratio if sales are 19,60,000. One by one ratio we have to calculate. First we are calculating current ratio. The formula for current ratio, current assets by current liabilities. And current assets is equal to cash in hand, cash at bank, debtors, bills receivable, stock, prepaid expense. Take all the values from the problem and add up 380,000 current assets. Current liability consists of three items in this problem. Creditors, bills payable and outstanding expenses. Take the values from the problem, add up, you'll get 130,000 current liability. Now current ratio CA by CL, 3,80,000 divided by 1,30,000, 2.92 is to 1. That's all. This is the current ratio. Next ratio, quick ratio. It is asking in the problem to calculate quick ratio. Quick assets by current liability. And we know quick asset is equal to current asset minus stock minus prepaid expenses. The two assets should be deducted from current asset. We'll get the quick asset. So current asset are 3,80,000. From 3,80,000 deduct stock 1 lakh minus prepaid expense 10,000. So quick assets are 2,70,000. Now quick ratio is equal to QA by CL. So 2,70,000 divided by 1,30,000 you will get 2.08 is to 1. That is the quick ratio. Now third ratio is asking you to calculate debt equity ratio. The formula is long term debt divided by shareholders fund. Long term debt consists of two items in our problem, present problem. That is debentures and bank loan. So add up debentures 2 lakh, bank loan 1 lakh 50,000. Total 3 lakh 50,000 long term debt. Shareholders fund consists of only one item that is share capital. We don't have preference share capital, we don't have reserves, we don't have surplus. If it is there, we would have added. But here we have only one item equity share capital. That is shareholders firm. Now debt equity ratio is 3,50,000 divided by 5 lakh, you'll get 0.7 is to 1. That's it. Next is proprietary ratio. 
the fund of a proprietary ratio is net worth by total assets net worth means shareholders fund already we have calculated shareholders fund 5 lakh the net worth or shareholders fund means same the 5 lakh is the net worth and total assets are given in the problem itself 9 lakh 80 thousand the 5 lakh divided by 980 0.51 is to 1 that is the proprietary ratio last ratio is assets turnover ratio this is the common ratio the formula is sales divided by total assets sales divided by total assets sales are given in the problem 9 lakhs uh, 19 lakh 60 thousand given in the problem last line and total assets 9 lakh 80 thousand you will get 2 so assets turnover ratio is 2 that means the sales are double the total assets. That is the meaning. That's this is the end of 11th problem. Now, 12th problem. The balance sheet of Sharma Limited as on 31st 12, 2017. Liabilities. Equity share capital, 10% preferential capital, reserves and surplus, debentures, sundry creditors, bank overdraft. Last two items, sundry creditors and bank overdraft. That is current liability and debenture is a long term debt and equity share capital preferential capital and reserves and surplus these three combined means shareholders fund now land and building plant and much furniture stock in trade debtors cash in hand prepaid expense the first two items land and building plant and furniture are fixed assets and the remaining four stock debtors cash in hand prepaid are the current assets now we have to calculate current ratio, liquid ratio, debt equity ratio, capital gearing ratio, proprietary ratio. Exactly similar to the previous problem. <coughs> now see carefully. Current ratio. CA by CL. So current asset consists of four items. That is stock, debtors, cash, prepaid. Add up all, you will get 5 lakh rupees as the current assets. Now current liability consists of only two items. That is creditors and bank overdraft. So here creditors and bank OD 2 lakh. We got the current asset, we got the current liability. So 5 lakh divided by 2 lakh 2.5. So current ratio is 2.5 is to 1. Next ratio, liquid ratio. Liquid ratio means quick ratio. Sometimes it will be called as quick ratio, sometimes it will be called as liquid ratio. Means same. So quick assets by current liability. Now quick asset is equal to current asset minus stock minus prepaid expenses so current assets are 5 lakh 5 lakh minus stock 2 lakh 40,000 minus prepaid expense 5,000 so 2 lakh 55,000 is the quick assets then quick ratio 2 lakh 55,000 divided by 2 lakh that is current liability you will get 1.275 is to 1 that is a liquid ratio next debt equity ratio long term debt divided by shareholders fund so long term debt consists of only one item in this problem that is debentures. So long term debt means debentures 4 lakh. Now shareholders fund consists of three items in this problem. Equity share capital, preference share capital, reserves and surplus. These three combined is called shareholders fund. So 5 lakh equity capital, 2 lakh preference capital, 3 lakh reserves and surplus. 10 lakh rupees is the shareholders fund. Now debt equity ratio, long term debt 4 lakh, shareholders fund 10 lakh. 4 lakh by 10 lakh, 0.4 is 2. That's it. Next one is capital gearing ratio. The formula for capital gearing ratio is funds bearing fixed interest and fixed dividend divided by equity shareholders funds. So numerator we are taking the funds bearing fixed interest and fixed dividend. So which fund has fixed interest? Debentures and bank loan. These are the funds on which there is a fixed rate of interest. And fixed rate of dividend preference capital. So in the numerator we will take debentures, bank loan and uh, preferential capital. These are the funds on which there is a fixed rate of interest and dividend denominator equity shareholders funds equity shareholders fund consists of equity share capital and reserves and surplus preference share capital will not be taken remember the two terms in some formula there is shareholders fund 
in some formula there is equity shareholders fund if we say shareholders funds it includes preference capital if we say if we say equity shareholders fund preferential capital should not be included so here shareholders fund equity shareholders fund is equal to equity share capital plus reserves and surplus 8 lakh so numerator 4 lakh rupees are the debentures and 2 lakh rupees is the preference share capital bank loan we don't have the preference share capital 2 lakh divided by equity shareholders fund 8 lakh so 6 lakh by 8 lakh 0 0.75 is to 1. This is the capital gearing ratio. Last ratio is proprietary ratio. Net worth by total assets. Net worth means shareholders fund. Shareholders fund already we have calculated somewhere here. Shareholders fund is 10 lakh. So here net worth means shareholders fund 10 lakh. And total assets is given in the problem. Balance sheet total. That is 16 lakh. So 10 lakh by 16 lakh 0. 0.625 is to 1. That's it. This is the proprietary ratio. So in this video, I have explained you two problems. Last two problems, that is 11th and 12th. So 12 problems are enough for this uh, topic of ratio analysis. Inshallah, in the next video, I'll start the new topic that is common size statement analysis.